lovelies welcome to starlight stitches thank you so much for joining me here today if you have been here before then hi thank you so much for coming back it's really really good to see you again i hope you've remembered to subscribe um, my subscriber count has gone up a little bit in the last couple of days so to all of the new ones welcome um you're gonna love my subscriber family everyone here is wonderful and now uh, i'm very very lucky to have you all if you're new here then hello this is alice land welcome I'm Alice and in Alice Land I like to talk about uh, yarny stuff, crochet, amigurumi, I do crochet book reviews, I do uh, end of the month finished projects, I talk about all sorts of yarny crochet fun stuff like that so if you think that is something that you might like then come and join us, press the subscribe button and uh, yeah and we have a fun time here <laughs> where we can. Um, Yes, today, 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 it's my day off and I can make a proper video. Um, very excited because um, I have some time while my daughter is at school and uh, today I decided that I was going to do another crochet book review for you. Now, in my last couple of videos, I did ask you guys um, to put your suggestions of which ones of my books you would like me to go through and review. Um, we had so many different ones, I can't do all of them in one go. Obviously, I will get through every single book eventually, um, but I can only do one book at a time. So, out of all the books that everyone requested, there were two books that came out joint top, um, and we're going to do one of them today, and we're going to do the other book next week. So, the book that we're going to be looking at today is this one, ta-da, Amigurumi Circus. Um, this one looks really exciting. It's one of the newer books that I've got. I haven't tried any of the patterns from it yet. So um, all the pictures that you'll be seeing today will be from the book. Uh, it is published by Meteor Books, which is the same people that do the monsters that I love to do. And they do the unicorns and dragons, fantasy creatures and more books. So I know the style of their books and I know that they are very, very good. So what we are concentrating on today, what patterns are available in those books, um, and hopefully there'll be something in there that you find inspiring and if it has been in your cart for a little while then uh, you can make the decision whether or not it's worth buying or whether it's something that you would like to purchase. Um, I have had a little flick through the book myself and I'm very excited. Everything looks wonderful and colourful and beautiful and great. So let's get into having a look at the book. I'm going to take you over to my table. Um, I'm going to put a jumper on because I'm a little bit cold on the old arms. Um, so I'm going to put my jumper on, take you over to the table and I will take you through page by page which patterns are available in Abigail Circus. So here we are boys and girls, this is Amigurumi Circus, um, it says crochet seriously cute circus characters, it's absolutely beautiful, look at this, isn't this amazing? You see on the side, it's published by Meteor Books, I'm so sorry about the state of my fingernails, I've been back to work and I work in a clothes shop so my uh, fingernails have all been ripped off already by lovely clothes. Um, and here is the back page. We've got a few of the little characters down the side here and here. It's got the pricing on the back. It's pretty much the same as all the other books um, that are by these same people. Um, US dollars, 17.95. Great British pounds, 12 pounds 50. Canadian dollars, 21.95. And euros, 16.50. So I got this one off Amazon. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it because <laughs> I'm terrible. I just buy things and I don't look at the prices. Right, now, the inside of this book, when we first get into it, is very much the same as the Monsters books and the Unicorns and Dragons book. So we've got our nice little introduction here. We've got our characters here. And then we go into the pages that give you your basic materials, um, skill levels, your stitch styles. I go into a lot more detail on these uh, in my first crochet book review thingy. So if you're wanting a bit more detail about these, please go back and look at that other video because it goes into a lot more detail. Because I've got so many of these books by this particular publisher, um, I'm not going to go through it every single time. I'll link that video down below for you if I remember. So once we've gone through all these pages, which are super useful, oh, we get to the actual designs. Now, 
I'm going to do the same as I did last time. Um, I'm going to put some pictures up on this side here and I'll put the main page here. Obviously I want to cover up the actual patterns. So let me swipe my bit of paper in there. We turn that over and here is our first pattern in this book. This is Loyal, the Ringmaster. Um, this is a design by uh, Huka Migurumi. Okay, I hope I said that right. So we've got skill level for him. And then we've also got a skill level for the pedestal, which is this going to be this bit underneath. There will be more photos on this side. So this particular design looks very colourful. And of course, every single circus needs a ringmaster, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it obviously does the same as before. It gives you the materials that it recommends over here. And like I say, every single time, if you want to change your hook size, yarn size, yarn type, yarn colours, anything at all, change them, make it your own. If you don't want him to wear a purple jacket, he doesn't have to wear a purple jacket. He can wear whatever colour jacket he wants. Um, if you do follow the exact guidelines though, he will come out about five and a half inches tall. And then his little pedestal thing that he stood on here, that comes out at about, what does it say? three inches yeah just over three inches so that is the first one in this book loyal the ringmaster i will have to pause the video each time but you won't notice that but it will just be a nice seamless transition for you so that's the first one loyal the ringmaster next up for you we have the adorable hannah the hippo now she's a tightrope walker she's got her little umbrella here to help her keep her balance this particular pattern is a design by Little Muggles and it's a skill level one. So really, really easy, super duper easy. Um, and she comes out at about 10 and a half inches tall if you use the recommended hook and yarn sizes. Obviously that will differ if you change your preferences on those. So I'm gonna put some more photos up for you just down the side there so you can see sort of um, what she looks like from the side views and everything else. These books are so lovely. They're so well written. The patterns are so easy to read. Um, I've never had a problem with any of these books that have been published by Meteor Books. I've found every single one of them so far to be so easy to follow. Um, so if you do buy these books, I hope that you find the same as I do. Um, the first proper Amigurumi that I followed was from the Amigurumi Monsters 2 book and it was my Ob Monster and I followed the pattern and it was the first proper one I'd followed and it came out absolutely brilliant. So these guys, the pattern creators are amazing and obviously Meteor Books go across the board to make sure that everything reads the same. So let's have a look at the next one. Next pattern in our book. This is Leo the Brave. Oh my god, this is adorable. Now Leo is actually a zookeeper um, and he has to look after all the animals. So this is Leo. <laughs> um, this one is designed by Den Dennis. I love Den Dennis. I follow quite a few of their patterns. Um, I've tagged them as well a few times on Instagram. I think Nico and Pico were by Den Dennis, if I remember correctly. Um, it's a high skill level, but then you're using some tricky, tricky yarn skills here for the hair. Um, but as you can see from these pictures, they are oh, so adorable. I love the way the little hat, the little hat hood thing can come down. It's really, really cute. So Leo the Brave is uh, the next the next one. Oh, and he comes out it says about eight inches tall this one so he will come out about eight inches tall if you use the recommended hook and yarn types the next pattern we are pulling out the bag get it pulling out the bag it's like a rabbit out of a hat it's mike the magician um so mike the magician is obviously a rabbit um and apparently he started out as a magician's assistant and after watching numerous shows from the inside of the hat he decided to move into the spotlight and uh he now pulls rabbits out of hats himself. Um, really cute design. This one is by Maya Hansen. It's a skill level three, so in somewhere in the middle. Um, and using the recommended hook and yarn types, it comes out at eight and a half inches tall. Um, Mike is adorable. Look at him. He's got his little 
belt and his bow tie and then you also get the pattern for this tiny little bunny and the hat as well so it's all nicely nicely round up in a little bow uh yeah i love this one i think it's cool this one's fabulous this is trudy trixie and trisha the trapeze triplets wow that is a mouthful um this is a design by janine holmes from moji moji designs it's a skill level three um the mice come out at about six and a half inches tall and the carousel is about eight inches so this is really really cool because it, you can use it like a mobile so it will be hanging from the sky so it will look like the mice are doing their little trapeze act this is so cute look at them they've got their little skirts i love this as well i really love this the colors everything else um yeah the pictures as you can see on that side um this is really cute yeah and it says here this mobile makes a really great baby shower gift i agree i think that's lovely and of course you can change the colors up to whatever you prefer um yeah i love it i think that's really cool all these patterns they're so fun and colorful i think that's what i like best about this book everything is really colorful and fun just wanted to point out extra with this video before you start any of these patterns in any of these books i would recommend to do this anyway just make sure that you read through the um ingredients list i like to call it of what you're going to need for example this one with the mobile with the mice hanging down you need a hoop for this so don't try and start something until you know that you've got everything you're going to need because otherwise you'll get to a point and then you'll go oh no i can't finish it so yeah just keep that in mind this next one is one of my favorites in this book this is chatterbox the clown and i love this design oh my gosh this is so cute um i love his hat I love his funky trousers, his stripy top, I love his stripy socks and his massive shoes and his big red nose and I love him, I love him, I love him. I think he is wonderful. This is a design by, watch me absolutely get this wrong, let me put the name in so you can actually see it. Mary Lise Lily Lilelis. Lilelis. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I Everybody knows I'm terrible at pronouncing things. That's the name, there, that one. <laughs> Uh, it's a skill level four, so it's fairly tricky, but if you can do it, you'll you'll end up with quite a decent sized project. This comes out at 18 and a half inches, um, fully, fully realised in the recommended yarns. Um, I think normally they recommend worsted, yeah, worsted weight yarns they normally recommend. Um, so if you are like me and you use something a bit on the thicker side, like a chunky, he's going to come out even bigger. Um, Chatterbox is gorgeous. I really, really love this one. I don't know what else to say. Like, I feel silly saying I love it, I love it, but I do. I think it's wicked. Okay, the next pattern that we have here, this is Diggory and Dave, the dancing dogs. These are adorable. Um, and also within this pattern, you, you get the, um, sorry, yeah, within this book, you get the patterns for the little balls and the hoops and stuff as well. So you get everything that you see on this page you can actually view um, and make yourself so once again this is a design by Janine Holmes from Moji Moji Designs it's a skill level three so it's somewhere in the middle and they come out at about eight inches tall fully realized um, I don't know what else to say about these really apart from they're super colorful their faces are adorable and I want to squish them I have like I say I haven't made any of um, I haven't followed any of the patterns from this book yet because this book is fairly new to me and I've had certain projects I needed to complete. Um, but there's so many to choose from, I wouldn't even know where to start. Next up is Hubert the Circus Pig. He's a circus pig. Uh, this is a design by Smart Apple Creations. Um, so yeah the pig himself he's only a skill level two and the ball is a skill level four um, so he should be pretty simple to make he's got a funky little hat on his head he's got lovely little dungarees on and he has got the biggest smile and he is very very cute up next we have Carlo the parrot uh, this is a very cool little dude on his unicycle this is a design by, right, I'm going to say this very slowly, Ilaria Kaliri, 
Erali design. I hope I got that right. This is a skill level three um, and the parrot itself is about six and a half inches tall and the unicycle is three and a half inches tall. Um, this design calls for sport weight yarn. So if you use anything bigger than that, then they'll come out even bigger. This is gorgeous. Look at these feathers. Aren't they amazing? Um, and the little unicycle as well is just such a wonderful little touch. I am also super in love with that hat on his head. I want a hat like that, but I don't suit hats. Carlo the parrot. The next pattern that we've got is Choppy the Clumsy Juggler. He's adorable. I love Choppy the Clumsy Juggler. Um, so you get the pattern for him, you get the pattern for his little juggling bat things, um, also for his crown, his headpiece. Um, oh look, it says you can add magnets to the hands and clubs. You could, you could put tiny magnets in there and then he'd literally just be holding onto them. Very clever little hint or tip there. Uh, this is a design by Sarah Bassnet from Tales of Twisted Fibres and it's a skill level four, so it's pretty tricky. Um, but as long as you follow the patterns, they are all very well written and you will be able to do it as long as you follow the pattern. Um, this one comes out about nine inches tall and that is using a sport weight yarn. So once again, anything bigger or thicker, um, you will end up with a slightly bigger piece. I really like how you can remove the hat and you've just got his little hair. He's got cute little bow tie and braces. Can't resist a bow tie and braces. Choppy is adorable. We are on to the last three. So this pattern here, uh, this is Lola, oh my goodness, I can't talk. Lola, the little elephant, and Timmy, the agile monkey. And this obviously is the image that we see on the front of the book. Um, these two are gorgeous. This is the image that attracted me to this book, obviously, because it's what's on the front of the book. But it's so colourful. It's so beautiful and neatly made. I will have to attempt this definitely one day. I don't know if I'm brave enough yet because, look, I mean, it's just, this is gorgeous. The eye is like completely crocheted. And she's got, oh, it's just, oh, I love it so much. Have some more pictures of it uh, while I tell you that this is a, des a design. I can't talk today. I thought I'd caught up on my sleep. This is a design by Leah Arjono or Arjano. I have said that name so many times before in other videos and I think I've got it wrong every single time. So I apologise. But Leah, that's how you spell her name. Look that name up. <laughs> Don't go by how I say it. I'm terrible. Um, so the skill level for Lola, that's a level four, and the skill level for Timmy is only a level a level two skill level. So he should be pretty easy. She's a bit more tricky, but I think there's just a few more details in that one. Um, Lola comes out at 8.7 inches, and I don't think that's right. Hang on, look. It says Timmy is 41.3 inches tall. That's not right, is it? <laughs> I think that's supposed to say four inches tall. So I have found a typo in the book. Uh, yeah, I think he's supposed to be four inches tall, not 41 inches tall. So there you go, a huge monkey. Okay, this one is our penultimate pattern. That's a tricky thing to say. And this is Boomer, the cannonball bird. Uh, this is a fabulous pattern done by Unique Crafts. Uh, it's a skill level three, so not too tricky, but not basic. Um, comes out about 11 inches tall, this one, if you use the recommended yarn, which is worsted weight on this particular one. This is really cute. Um, this is obviously done in um, a particular country's set of colours, but again, you could change them up, couldn't you, if you were feeling patriotic towards wherever you live, or a football team, or anything else really. You could change those colours up to anything. Um, you get the pattern for the bird and also of course you get the pattern for the cannon as well. Um, this is really really cute. I love this and it's not too tricky. Our last pattern in this book for today, oh my gosh my camera is so wobbly, I'm really sorry, is, okay, it's Steno the Stilt Walker. I'll put some more pictures here, as usual. Um, this is adorable. So yes, he is a stilt walker, but I think he just uses that to get into boxes of popcorn. 
With this one, you get the pattern for the mouse and the box of popcorn with all the popcorny bits in. This is another one by Ilaria Kaliri Arali Design. Oh my gosh, did I just get that right? I think I got that right. That would be amazing. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's a skill level one for the mouse and it's a skill level four for the actual popcorn box and the bits of popcorn that go in it. Um, the mouse is about three inches tall and the popcorn box is about six inches. Now, I don't know about any of you, but a little mouse in a circus, all that makes me think of is Timothy the mouse from Dumbo. That was his name, wasn't it? Timothy the mouse in Dumbo? I'm second guessing myself now, but that's what it makes me think of. This makes me super happy. What an adorable last design in this book. He says, want to share a box? How cute is that? Look at his little ears and his cute little face. I love it. This book is fantastic. Now, I'm going to just flip over to my favourite page. Well, it's the best page in the book. This page tells you about every single one of the wonderful, amazing, magical designers for the patterns in this book. And it tells you which patterns in this book they have made and gives you a little bit of information about them. Um, these, every single one of these people are gods and goddesses in my eyes. I think they are amazing and they should get all the credit they deserve for helping people like me to follow lovely patterns and end up with beautiful creations. And I say this every time I do one of these book reviews. These people are amazing and I wish I had the skills to do my own patterns. Maybe one day I will be brave enough, but these guys are incredible. So that, my friends, is Amigurumi Circus. So there you go, that was the Amigurumi Circus. Um, I hope that has helped some of you to decide whether or not this book is for you. There are so many different types of patterns in here and so many different skill levels as well. Um, I think this is beautiful. Like I say, I haven't done any of the patterns in this book yet, but you can see from the skill levels and everything else that there are things for all levels and all peoples um, it's beautiful and like I say every time meet your books every book that I've had from them I've had no problem following the patterns I think they're easy to read I think that they are very clear there's lots of pictures in there which help you to understand what you're doing um, like I say I'll put a link in the description below for my first crochet book review that I did because I went into an awful lot more detail about the style of the book um, I'm just thinking that for my regular viewers, um, they don't want to see me say the same things over and over again. So there will be a playlist as well for all the crochet book reviews that I do. So you can work your way through the playlist if you like. That might be quite useful. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I have enjoyed this one very much. Um, and one day maybe I'll make some of the patterns. Problem is I've got quite a lot of books and um, I never know where to start, which is why boys and girls crochet roulette is quite a good series that I've started doing and you never know you might see another one of them very very soon yes another crochet roulette coming to you very soon um I'm in a super good mood today because today is the first day of my three days off in a row yes three days off in a row and all my housework is up to date so guess what I'm going to be doing Yes, I'm going to be crocheting. <laughs> um, I'm making some videos for you guys as well. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. There will be another one out next week. Another crochet book review out next week. And I will try and continue to do them as frequently as possible. It's going to be, I reckon, at least one every two weeks. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Don't shout at me if I don't do it though. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks. Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to let you crack on with your day. I hope you're looking after yourselves and I hope you're looking after your loved ones. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for joining me here again and I'll see you in a few days time.